This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and very interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Osi Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ewa Oluwa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshoke. Wagwan. How you doing? God bless you. Good. Who else feels like today is Friday? Nobody. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Wow. Do you feel that way? No, because I'm very aware <laughs> that today is Thursday. Okay, I felt the type of way though. Is that why you were native? Well, I already dressed up before I realized it was Thursday and I think I couldn't change. Uh, okay, really? Okay. I should. Cabo. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Can pass. Yeah, you can. Mm, yeah, it's almost Friday anyway. I mean, you can wear it from Monday to Friday. You know. Mind. Yeah. I'm that slick with the swag. Rep the culture. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm. Moving on to the story for today. Mick Mill says he has made up his mind to buy a mansion in Africa. So, um, mm. I don't know. I guess they're all on the African boards right Yeah, now. but he Is hasn't he actually win? revealed where exactly. Where? Yeah, At least um, we know Kadabi came to Nigeria. She loved it and mm -hmm. she's, um, she wants to file for the Nigerian citizenship. I we know about Liu Wen. What? I think that was a joke. Well, yeah. you never know. You could get serious. Mm -hmm. With everything I mean, going Kadibi. on. I feel like she's she it, free right? like that to want to take exactly. up that kind and of thing. And you never know with what is going on with some... Um, the United States of America and Iran right now, everybody's looking for an escape route. And if she feels like this is the next place that feels like home, why not? Well, <coughs> Lil, Wayne <actually>. also <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lil Wayne also said he's never he heard his lead. So mm. I think we should try and start, you know, tweaking our flag mm. and letting them know tweaking. that it's actually lit. Yeah. No, we don't need to tweak the flag. The flag is as lit as it can get, I think. You think? And um, it can get better. I think those who bust Cardi B should work on bringing Lil Wayne because I think Lil Wayne is one of um, the I don't think Lil Wayne wants to come for a concert. I like, think they'll just come and they will make money for I mean if they are paying him his money he will come. What yeah, what's, what's his own? But why do they have to get paid to come to Nigeria? Uh, well because that? They are not Nigerians and they don't live but here, so they have to get paid to come but here. But we run over there all the time. Tour. Some of us get paid to go to some of these places too. Mm. It happens on every, to every, so, in yeah, fact, in every profession. We're talking it about when it comes to the in the enter um, to the entertainment space, mm. especially with Americans, they necessarily have to get paid before they come to Africa. Why don't they just want to connect when, to their roots? Um, is it Steve? What's his name? Yeah, Steve. Steve. No, that's yeah. Steve Harvey. Yeah. I'm talking. No, that's Steve Harvey. I'm talking about like musicians like Lil Wayne, like when Jay Z oh, and Beyonce came. Are, are you yes, talking I about them coming for recreation? Or? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I'm talking just, about Kanye West. Yeah, He's planning too. his um tour to Africa, Africa. so he'll probably say I'm I moving it's Sunday yeah. service as well to so some mm. parts of Africa. So let's see how that goes. He knows I think it has the large crowd of uh, yeah, religious for, people. Yeah, so yeah you know. I didn't think, think of it that way, but that's true. Oh, well, he, maybe he just wants to spread the gospel. We mm, never can tell. Spread it, yeah. No, it needs the gospel is all over Africa. I think we just don't listen. We have the gospel already. So he's bringing like the proper gospel that everybody will be able to blend in. On that one, we have a very interesting guest who will be introducing very soon and he has a beautiful should i call it concept or idea of what the gospel is about and mm. the fact that christian is there from ethiopia so we'll get to all that but let's quickly talk about simi and tunde ed not as the trade opinion on marriage and the roles of um, partners involved popular instagram blogger tunde ed not shared the post saying no matter what previously transpired between you and him be a source of rest when your husband returns from work not a source of stress women who are sources of stress to their husbands may lose them to women who give them the rest. Responding to this statement, Nigerian singer Simi, who is married to Adekunle Gold, says, um, who will be her source of rest when she returns from work? You need to start telling people to love their partner how, um, how they want to be loved, period. Whatever you can't take, don't do, and vice versa. Love is not that complicated. You people turn marriage to work, especially for the woman. Anyone looking to be babied or tolerated because, quote, God said so, should stay single. Hmm. I honestly <laughs> think they are both right. It's, it's just, it depends on the perspective. The pers right? Yeah, that they are looking at it because it's, it's okay to tell a woman that be your man's peace. I think mm. when people say something sometimes, I get that feminists are probably quick to, you know, make a stand and all, but you should understand where they are coming from. It's not like he's saying the man should 
No, I mean, you already put up a post about how a man should love his wife and all of that, and he's putting this out for women. So I think they are both right, to be honest. It's just where you're looking at it from. Mm. I agree they're both right, but um, I think there's a lot of pressure on the woman to mm. be the one to show the love, to of show course. the affection, to show that so without... You know, to keep the marriage yeah, together. Yeah, without being biased. I'm a man, but yeah, I know yeah. that there's a lot of pressure on women to actually yeah. be the ones to show care, to show love, to keep the marriage, to make sure it works. When he does this, forgive, forget, do this, do that. No, sometimes you also need to let a man know that you need to do things right. Come correct. If you have to come at all, come correct. Mm. Do you understand? So that's the only way a relationship will work. It's a two-way street. It's not a one-way street street where it's only um, the responsibility of one person. So I understand that they are both right, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, also be your woman's peace. Be a yeah. rest of mind. Reduce the stress. Let them worry less. Bef because before a woman would give you stress, I know there are some women that are just dramatic like that. I mean, that. don't make her go <laughs> to um, a, a whole big mall and start yeah. creating a scene. That one that's worrying as well. No, no, no. no. I mean, I, I, I get that. But I totally get that. But let a man not push a woman well, to that level. Be a Peace. Okay. Well, true that, but mm. at the end of the day, I think it's um, a two-way street. Like um, Simi rightly said, also teach the men how to come correct. It's not just about the woman. Yes, a woman needs to be calm, needs to learn how to keep a home, but a man needs to know how to be the man, mm. how to actually be the one that the woman is looking up to, the one who keeps the peace, the one who reduces your stress, the one who shows you love in a way you've never been loved. Mm. And I think every woman really deserves that. Actions, not yeah, so not by the yeah, I'm the head of the For home, me, I then. feel like, like you said, I think both of them are right. Yeah. It depends on the dynamics of mm -hmm. your relationship. Mm. So there are people that, when it comes to what um, Two Dead Not says, said, it, it works perfectly for their relationship. They have a relationship whereby the man goes and does the whole work. But at the same time, being a housewife, man, I think that's the most stressful thing anyone can ever be. <laughs> for you, I mean, trust me, some people want to be It depends on the kind of housewife you like get. Because you have house. people that are cleaning the house for you, cooking, yeah. and adjusting the house, then maybe. But the idea of housewife for majority of men in this part of the world is you cook, you clean, you take care of the children, you take the child to school, you do almost everything. And I'm like, hey, I will die. I'm that, sad. That, 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 can, can't, no, that can't even work. You know? I mean, if you want to be full housewife, you, per, you better get help. Uh -uh. But anyway, so for what if I saying, I feel like there's too much pressure on the woman to be the one to make the home right. Mm. And um, I like that these conversations are coming up now and people are speaking out. But at the same time, you have to understand what you're also bringing to the table mm -hmm. and what your role is in that relationship. I know I'm not in support of gender roles and assigning, okay, man mm. must do this and a woman must do this. But at the same time, when, you, to, Both to, of when you you're coming to, together yeah. to become a family, there need to be some things that are defined. You should know where your strength is, where his weakness right. is, where his strength is, where your own weakness is, and then come together to make it work. If for example, if I went to work and you went to work and we both come back, we should be our peace together. Mm -hmm. And for the woman that, I, I'm sure this conversation started from um, the lady who went to accost the side chick in the mall and a lot of things there happening mm -hmm. and the video was online. I think you should also be your own peace. Maybe in the next episode we'll be able to talk about the way Tokyo Market while I was dragged. And I, but she was she basically was saying, saying the truth. be your own peace. Because if you're waiting for someone to be your peace, anything can disrupt you. Yeah. But if you find your peace in some more concrete than marriage. I'm sorry, I know marriage is an achievement to a lot of people, and it could be an achievement for me too, but it, it, you, there, is, there is a lot to life than just trying to attach yourself to someone and own the person. There's a lot of I really hope we'll be able can... to talk more on this, because yeah, there's this video I saw online that that woman, maybe the way she came sounded funny, mm -hmm. but she just spoke like the honest truth um, about this whole marriage thing. If you keep chasing a man, mm, at the end of the day, you're fighting this woman because of that man. Mm -hmm. He's seen other women too. Mm -hmm. I mean, just... How be, many women would you fight? Would you fight? Who is fighting the man for you? Right. What you actually need to do, I think this is an advice to all women. If you find out your man is cheating, the problem is not the side chick. Mm. Unless maybe she's your best friend and she's trying to snatch your man. That's mm. a different case entirely. But if it's a total stranger that you don't know and then you find out that, oh, she's sleeping with your man, I think the conversation should be between you and your man. Because find out men the problem. will disgrace you. Do you understand? <laughs>
<laughs> At the end of the day, you go and find sure that this lady, the, the lady that was being embarrassed, if there was anything really going on between... The man is begging The man her. is begging and getting her the latest days and saying, right. I'm sorry. Right. I mean, someone brought up another story of, real life story of somebody that the man went to harass the girlfriend and at the end of the day, the man chased the wife away, got her out for the girlfriend in Nikoi and had escort following her around so she would not be harassed again. Last, last, invest in be yourself. Your own peace. Be your own peace. And I know emotions can be too much, especially when you really love someone, mm. but man, you just have to try and move on. Anyway, before we go on a very quick break, because we have a guest, I'd like to reiterate this really important message. Saving is imperative as the future is never known or certain. You will need money to set money that you set aside for some emergencies to avoid going into debt to pay for your necessities or just to have that kind of relaxation you will deserve at the end of the year. I mean, when you work for a full year, you deserve to like pamper yourself, right? So, um, make 2020 your best year yet by getting a colo. Give yourself a chance, start saving today. Get a colo by visiting my colo on Instagram that's mycolo.ng today and get yours, okay. We have a guest, and when we come back, you find out who this guest is. We'll be right back.